Welcome to another episode in the basic skills series of Affinity Designer on the iPad. And in this one we're looking at duplicating objects around a circle, or any symmetrical shape for that matter. And often in design you come across the need to place smaller objects symmetrically and evenly around a larger object. And in this basic tutorial we'll learn how to duplicate objects around a circle or any symmetrical shape and we'll do it in Affinity Designer on the iPad. So begin by creating a new canvas. If you wish to work on a transparent background, check the transparent background checkbox. Pull out a circle and position it exactly in the center. Turn on snapping and insert a vertical and horizontal guide for clarity. Now we'll colour the circle. Trace out an ellipse and while tracing hold two fingers on the screen to create the perfect circle. Fill the background with some colour and in that case 00CEC9. And you can see I'm using the RGB hex sliders there to do that. Pick the move tool and click on the circle to select it. You can see the bounding box around it, it is selected. We'll be duplicating small teardrops around the above circle we just traced. So go back to the object menu and pick the tear tool next. It's a one, two, three, four, it's the fifth one down. Rectangle, ellipse, square, star, triangle and tear. We want the tear. Trace out a small teardrop over the circle. And you can see I've got a dead center there. If snapping is enabled, there will appear a vertical green line to which the teardrop can be snapped easily. This step is really tricky. If you succeed at first try, great. Otherwise, try again and again and again. <laughs> so with your first teardrop in place and selected, lightly tap the Enable Transform Origin from the Move Tool context bar. This places a small crosshair on the workspace. Now you can see down the bottom right hand side there, I've got the Move Tool selected. That shows the context toolbar and it's the middle option in the little group of six options there in the context toolbar. You click on that, that's the Enable Transform Origin option. Now you can see that will place a little cross in a circle, usually right next to the object that you've got selected, and in that case it's the teardrop. It may be elsewhere on the screen, and it's very small, so you might have to look for it, but it'll usually just be there. Now drag that crosshair to the center of the big circle. Um, it hasn't shown there, I've got arrows pointing everywhere, but at the center of the big circle. But that's on the next slide. So you take that little circle with the crosshair in it and drag it down to the center of the green circle, right on the crosshairs that are there, the horizontal vertical guide, so that it's dead center. And there it is. Drag the crosshair into place. The red and green alignment guides will show when you're dead center. They will light up when, you're, when you've got that crosshair dead center. I've dragged it from up near the teardrop down to dead center of the green circle. In the transform panel, there's a rotation field. If you need to place eight tiers or objects around the circumference, set the angle to 360 divided by eight. So that's 45 degrees for each teardrop. If you need just 4, divide by 4, that gives you 90, etc. Here we'll use 45. Now the transform tool panel is down there. You can see the big red arrow pointing to it, and that's what you click on to set um, the angle of rotation. I'll show you that momentarily. Next, select the teardrop if it's not already selected. Check the crosshair is in the center position. Make sure you've got that top teardrop selected. Set 
select duplicate from the command menu. That's the three dots up the top next to the blue box. And select duplicate. You can see in the layers panel that the teardrop is still selected. That's all you need to do is tap duplicate. And you can see in the layers panel you should have a circle, a teardrop and a second teardrop which is the duplicate. With the first duplicate ready we can now start repeating the tears around the circle. Now this is where you select the transform studio and you actually enter 45 into the rotation field. I hope you didn't put it in there before because that will move the duplicate before you're ready to move it. So we need a teardrop there and a duplicate of the teardrop and now we set the rotation angle to 45. When you tap OK your first duplicate is positioned. Just repeat that last step. Tap Command Duplicate as many times as needed. Don't need to set the angle again just Command Duplicate Command Duplicate, Command Duplicate, all the way around until you've done eight of them. Simple as that. Tap it as many times as you need, Command Duplicate. Nothing else. That's it, all done, and you can see it'll work, you'll work your way around the screen. It's magic. Now, we can repeat the above same steps for duplicating other objects around other symmetrical shapes. I've created a star at the top, put the circle in the center, the crosshair circle, and duplicate it all the way around. It's as easy as that. That's it for this little exercise. Thanks for watching.